What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to Saul 2853. Now, this is Curiosity Rover. Now, I'm going to show you... <laughs> I'm going to show you a photo. This is awesome. Make sure you guys get out your magnifiers because you're going to need it for this. All right. So I was looking at these photos on Facebook, and there's a lot of really good uh, investigators, researchers of these photos, right? So we have this photo here. This one's cool. Now, when you zoom into it, I'm going to show you what, what this person's found. First of all, when you look at this thing, you go, okay, looks like a bunch of hills and ridges and stuff like that. Nothing really special. There's a lot more going on here, guys, that meets the eye. A lot more. Um, especially in this white mountain. In fact, if you look good right now with your magnifier, you can see what looks like almost like a cutout. Um, but I'm not going to say anything more. I'm going to say pause it and then have a look. And there's something on this black hill, the supposedly docking sand hill, that really stands out. But what he found was this right here. This platform sitting right here. Let me show you the picture he's got. So he gets the credit for this. I do not. And you can see he's from the, the Mars X-Files. But check out this square. And, of course, he shows it in the background here. And what you can see is these little rectangular pieces underneath. Like, this is a raised platform. That's, that's cool. But the first thing I thought of, was there more to this than just this? If you've seen this on there, clearly there must be more in this photo. And, by God, was I right. Now, let's have a look. All right, you can get the photo right here. It is Sol 2853, uh, right Navcam camera. And he says this image was taken by a right navigation camera on board NASA's Mars a rover Curiosity on Sol 2853. And, of course, the date is 8-15, the 8th month, 15th, 2020. And, of course, the image credit goes to NASA, uh, JPL, and Caltech. Caltech being, you know, they built a lot of the cameras and technical pieces on this curiosity rover and right there you can see right there nasa science mars exploration program right okay so you can download it here just hit boom and it's at uh, 1024 by 512 and like i said i had it here and you can zoom in but you can't get enough detail i'm going to show you what happens when you enlarge this the detail that pops out i didn't even notice this until i made it bigger let's get into it okay here it is right here now, I've made this photo much bigger. This is only at, you can see right here, 19, just about 20%. And you can see this pretty well right here now. You can see that pretty darn good. Like I said, you can, right there, right? And, of course, you get these little pieces underneath. But what what is this that it's raised off? And you can see the corners of this thing, right? What is that? And there's something else that almost looks like a pair does, does this here. That's a little better. And I'm saying, wow, what is that? There's more to that, even that platform, and we're going to get into that. Now, this is what got my eye, okay? As I'm going over here, I'm looking at these white pieces in the back, okay? I'm saying, wait a minute, why do these look so much like they're pretty much level with the ones over here? I don't think this thing's a mountain at all, guys. Now, when I started looking at this, I seen some kind of ghostly piece right here. I thought this was odd, and I, and I can see it right now, and I'm going to draw it out for you guys. Watch this. It's doing this. Going across, coming down, and then this piece, it, it looks like it's into or embedded into this hill, or maybe the way they manipulated this, but it looks like it's doing this. Looks like it's gonna, and then it just goes, kind of goes into this distortion down here. But what you'll see is it looks like little openings over here. This one here almost looks like this here. Same shape like this, right? And it does this. Totally blew my mind. Now, while we're this zoomed in, check this mess out. What is going on here? Do you guys see that right in here? What do you think that is? I'm going to let you guys think about that. Pause it right now if you want to. And I'm going to give you my take on it. And these pieces as well. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fully enhance this. And then you're going to see what I'm really talking about. The reason why you can't see this is because it's so darn dark, this piece right here. But let me go ahead and just bring up the exposure, shall we? Okay. Do you see the lines now without me doing a thing to it? Look at this. Not doing a thing to this photo, but just brought up the exposure, right? And like I said, it's all like this here. But I can see something doing this. 
And you've got what looks like right here. Almost that kind of shape. And you've got a smaller one over here. Okay. I can see that pretty darn well right there, guys. Now, here's this area right here. Guys, to me, this looks like a down spacecraft. It looks like a, maybe they're, they're equivalent to our airplanes. What it looks like is it looks like something's bro broken apart right here. Like the body of it's been busted apart. And you can see things inside this. The reason why I say it looks like some kind of weird craft is because it almost looks like it has a nose cone going down like this. But it may be buried inside here and we don't know that. But what I see is a slot right here. I'm going to do this in white. but And it looks like something maybe starting to slot but not sure. And you can almost see something going like this. Like it's kind of rounded in the front. You guys see that? I'll even make it go back to the dark picture too for a moment. See that? Again, I see this stuff over here. What is going on there? Again, it looks like it's been busted to pieces. And you can see what looks like pipes inside this thing. You can see right here. It's coming out like this. This is doing this. And there's other pieces in here. Many other little pieces standing up and stuff like that. Now, again, bring it up. I'm going to back out. Now let me do the full enhancement for you guys. I'm going to let you guys determine what you think this is. Now, I've already, of course, I've already gave you my take on it, but let's do this. Now, anything that was white, I brought out the white pieces. Anything that was, uh, had, had the lines to it, I'm going to show you that too. And I'm going to show you this other piece. Now, let's go over here. I found so much more on this, this platform. There seems to be a lot more pieces here on here. Again, you got these corners, boom, going up. Almost looks like it has another corner there. You have what looks like these white pieces underneath. So I'm not sure what to make of that. But it looks like there's a bunch of little details and stuff right here on top of this. So, again, thank you to uh, Terry Burnett for doing this. Now, I'm going to take you step by step when I started to do this here. As we started to bring it out. Boom. This is not normal. This is not normal. And again, I'm looking at things that are right here. And you can see what, look, if you look carefully, you can see what looks like something's folded up over here. Or something's blocking out this white piece. And you can see like lines coming down from it, like this here. Looks like a small dot right there. Like this is something intelligently made, guys. Look at that. Right there, concentrated on them little lines. And this piece looks like it's doing this. It has a design to it. Something's there. Now, look at this piece now in the corner. This, to me, looks like some kind of craft or something that's crashed. And you can see, like, the, the hull of it's been broken open. And you can see what looks like parts inside this. What could that be? You could just see it like it's been completely damaged. Like that there. And you can see what looks like this thing almost goes to, like, a, a nose cone type thing. Uh, just really, really weird, right? Get rid of that. You can see the structure. Now, I don't believe this right here, this mound at all, is a mound. It really is not. There's too many things in here to believe that this is nothing more than a hillside. I think it's been darkened up, and all they do is they left these small pieces to make it look like it's rock sticking out of the side of the hillside. Because like I said, guys, here it is. This is the original. But you can see something right here. It's square. It's got a piece right here. There's two lines in it. You get a design right here. Now, once you start using, you can go like this here. Once you start using the dodge tool, you can click on that and start using it. What happens is you get white pieces that are white will pop out more. You won't always get it all out, common sense, right? But you can get quite a bit. The other thing that kind of made me go after this area like a pit bull is this right here. Look at the squares right here. See that? You can see them right here. And it kind of stops right there. But what got me is this stuff right here. Wow. This is just cool. Up here. Again. Bring this up. That right there. I can, like, almost, I just can't unsee it now. Look at this. I'm going to go back and forth. Well, we'll go from there. I'm going to go back and forth. Check this out. The lines are there. They're absolutely there. 
All I do is this. You can see it's slightly lighter than the rest of it right here. You can see the body. I'm going to go real close into the body. It's actually a whiter color right here. See that? And by the way, keep a close eye on this. It looks like this little cross right there. Watch this. You guys see that? What is that? What is going on there? Whatever it is, clearly that's not natural. It's, it's clearly it's intelligently made. Check this stuff out, guys. This, to me, blew my mind. This here is no mountain. This, what we're seeing here, this could be, on, could be sitting on something else and we would not even know it because it's been blocked out so much. But look at the bottom edge to this right here. See this? You see a line going straight up. There's another line right here. And then, of course, it just disappears into this black crap. But again, here, the littlest details. There's something laying right here. There's something right here. All these pieces here. In fact, it almost looks like it's coming out of a hole right here. You can see it was right here. And this piece is coming out, going like this. It's almost like doing this here. I'm not sure if it does this. Kind of goes like this. Like in a, well, it would be more round than that, but you get the idea. Whatever this stuff is, Wow. I, and I, like I said, I didn't notice this piece right here in the middle because it wasn't light enough. Look at it. If I was just glancing over this real quick, I would see this first of all, right? Okay, nice and bright. Looks pretty bright in here in the center. Other than this platform right here, I'd be going, okay, as soon as I got over here, yeah, I don't see anything of any value. I don't see anything at all. But this part here caught my eye. I said, something else is here, guys. So as soon as I went like that and made it brighter, that's when I went, is there lines right there? What is that? There you go. And you can literally see what looks like these little window type things. There you go. Absolutely, they are there for a reconnaissance mission. They're basically going through a civilization or the remnants of a civilization that happened long ago. They might not have even been that long ago. But, and they're looking through the technologies and they're seeing this stuff. It must be awesome to see this stuff in actual uh, non-tampered with, non-molested photos. It must be awesome to see what they're seeing in here. If we're just pulling out these smaller titbits, we can only imagine what they're actually seeing in these photos. It must be incredible. So to see that kind of stuff like that, and like I said, you got these smaller pieces here on the bottom. In fact, there's actually a third square right here. You can see that. And something with a round circle right here. Right there. You got these other squares. All these look like kind of square shapes, right? See that? Other pieces right here, here. Now I just I just seen this just now. Look at this piece right here. Look, if you tilt your head all the way to the left, it looks like a five. It looks like a five on a square right here. Of course, I'm doing it kind of lame because I'm kind of doing it sideways. But you guys get the idea. Anyway, guys, tell me what you're seeing here. I'm gonna pause it right here. Use your magnifiers right here. To me, this is incredible. I see this here. I believe this actual piece right here on the bottom. I'm just going to zoom in for a moment. Right here. I believe this goes all the way across. And I believe this is a structure of some sort. And this might actually be sticking out of this said structure. Like almost like a balcony type thing. And maybe it was designed like that. Maybe there was water under here at one time. And of course, I'm not sure what happened to this piece. This thing might have crashed. They just crashed because of whatever happened. Catastrophic event. And they end up crashing into the ground. And what you're seeing is the remnants of that and structures and, and little tidbits of things that we're able to pull out of here. It must be awesome to see the normal photos. This is just great stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm going to just go ahead and zoom back out of this a little bit. And again, use your magnifiers on this before I get out of this. Tell me what you see. Are you seeing something a little bit different? As always, drop your comments and thoughts below. And uh, like and share the video. It's appreciated. You guys know that. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. It gets enough thumbs up. YouTube will share it. That's how it works. And if you haven't subscribed to the other channel, we just hit 5,000 subscribers on the Lunar Anomalies and Beyond. Uh, a lot smaller than this channel, but it is growing really fast. Thanks to everybody who subbed to it. And if you haven't subbed to it, go ahead and sub to it just like this channel. You know, hit the sub button and hit the uh, notification bell on the right-hand side. So this way you guys will be alerted to any new videos coming out. Anyway, guys, stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.